Hey, what's happening? Hope you're doing well today. Hey, this is Jerry with Wealth Dynamics. I help you make money, keep it, and multiply it. Today, I'm going to talk to you again about crypto. Why? Because I teach you how to multiply your money, and I want to make sure you understand what this stuff is before you think it's the investment of the lifetime. Now, I'm not saying it is or isn't. That's totally up to you, and the person with the most money at the end of the day is going to be the determining factor of what worked and what didn't. But I need to ask you, do you actually even know what it is? Okay, Bitcoin, the B word. Do you know what Bitcoin is? What is it? And you can't just tell me it's cryptocurrency and give me that generic answer. You can't just tell me that it's blockchain and give me that generic answer. You don't even know what those things mean. Okay, so when you look at what is it, you need to first look at where did it originate. So nobody knows. Okay, two guys, I don't know how to pronounce their names. I got them wrote down right here. Satoshi Nakamoto and Marty Maumi apparently were the developers. Nobody knows who they are. They apparently have stopped being involved with Bitcoin since 2010. So we're on Bitcoin specifically here. And so when you look at who runs it, who owns it, nobody knows. You don't. If you put money in it, do you own one? No, you don't. You're storing the value of your US dollars in it. So what is it literally? It's an idea backed by confidence. The only difference is it's digital. Okay, that's all paper money is. The question that, that we're really asking is, is digital money better than paper money? I personally think digital money is better. That's why banks use it. Okay, banks don't use paper money. They use digital. But we're getting too caught up in the story and all of the jargon and failing to go back to the very basics. This is where people go wrong on investing. We get too caught up in, in the pitches and the story and the terminology because we're excited that we learned something. We need to be asking, like, where did it originate it from? Where's the basic? So there's a few points I want to point out here, just doing some research. Okay, so Bitcoin, obviously, cryptocurrency, obviously, it's a digital currency system. What that is, is it's a medium of exchange. The difference is it's digital and it allows everyone to see the balance sheet. Bottom line, that does is not more fancy than that. Yes, there's intricacies and there's reasons why this one's better than that one and all the differences. Bottom line, that's what it is. Okay, it's it's a it's a digital currency system. It's a method of exchange. Okay, um, like we like I just said, you don't own it. If you buy it, you don't own a Bitcoin. You can't take a Bitcoin home with you and put it in your pocket and say, look at my Bitcoin. You don't actually own it. You're storing the value of your U.S. dollar in that, and it's a potential for exchange. A potential for exchange just like your dollar is someone might say no I don't want your dollar that very may that very may well happen if the Federal Reserve keeps going at the rate it's been going okay so that's one of the things I want to point out the next thing I want to point out here it's not an investment do not call it an investment it's not an investment just like a home is not an investment just like a dollar is not an investment just like a gem is not an investment because it doesn't meet the two criteria of being an investment to be an investment, it needs to reasonably provide safety of principle, and it needs to pay an income. It does neither of those, th those things. It's not an investment. It's definitely a speculation, and it's one that has paid off for people, but it's not an investment. Okay, One of the things, I actually took some, some crap from some crypto nerds on YouTube a couple days ago about calling it a company. Is it a company? So the definition of a company, my opinion, yes, it's a company. I think Bitcoin is a company. My definition of a company is the same as the dictionary. The definition of a company, a number of persons united or incorporated for joint action, especially for business purposes. That's Bitcoin. That's crypto. A number of persons united, all of the people that developed it, that use it, that keep that system going, you're united for the purpose of doing business between each other. It's a company. You're, you're investing in that company. Money, money flows to, to where the confidence is. So by putting your confidence towards something, you're saying this is a company, it's a group that I have confidence and trust in, therefore I'm gonna flow my money towards it. Now if you're investing in crypto, you're actually not wrong for not trusting the US dollar. You shouldn't. The US dollar is also a load of crap. It's not backed by anything either. It's totally fake, it's made up, they print it all the time. That just happens to be the currency system we use right now. Okay. So when you're looking at, at Bitcoin, when you're looking at crypto, when you're looking at anything, you need to be looking at what is it exchangeable for? What is it producing? If there's no production, 
you shouldn't be putting anything into it. Someone on Instagram just said the internet's a company as well. That's true. It's a company. You're, if, you're, if you're putting your confidence in it and it's a group of people and, and they're associated or incorporated for business activities, that is a company by definition. So Bitcoin totally is the internet is. Home ownership is a company. If you buy a home, you're investing in the company of home, home ownership. You're part of that group. You're putting your confidence in that group. Okay, it's so important to understand this, guys. And if you don't understand it, I want you to do more research before you A, invest in it, B, tell other people how to invest in it. Okay, you have to really understand it. There's two books you need to read. Two books you need to read before you invest in Bitcoin, crypto, real estate, or anything. The first book is The Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffin. If you don't understand how money works, money is the common denominator. It's the method of exchange right now. Right now, that's the U.S. dollar. I don't love it, but that's what it is. You need to know how the U.S. dollar works. Second, The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Learn about investing. Once you've learned how does money work and how does investing work, then go look at the Bitcoins and the cryptos and the real estate and the mutual funds and all of the things out there. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'm going to post an article in the comments. In case you didn't get my point clearly, Bitcoin is a company. Cryptocurrency is a company. Home ownership is a company. Your 401k plan is a company. All of these things are common ideas that people are uniting for, for business purposes. That's the definition of a company. Make sure you understand this stuff. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Talk to you soon.